Hello, I'm going to start some stitching on the Country Wren piece today and I just want to talk to you first of all about setting up your machine for free motion embroidery. One thing is the needle. Now I would actually use an embroidery needle, uh, either an 11 or a 14, and also you need the free motion embroidery foot. Now this particular one has uh, a whole hoop, sometimes they have a horseshoe shape instead but what's important is you find a foot that fits your machine and follow the instruction manual. The other thing you need to do is to drop the feed dog which are these teeth. So mine has a little lever underneath and if I move it across you will see the feet drop down and that means that's now smooth which means that I can sew in any direction. I've selected a variety of threads to stitch the picture here, some variegated and some plain. It really doesn't matter, it depends what you've got in stock. I prefer to stitch with a thicker weight, a 40 weight rather than a 30 weight, because then it will show up better. Here I want to show you how to stitch the leaves. If you notice, I'm actually just stitching the veins, not round the leaf edge, edge themselves. I think this works much better, it holds the leaf down and it gives much more interest. I'm doing the leaf veins here in the dark red thread that you saw earlier, which is again is a stop, top stitch thread, uh, an embroidery thread in a thicker weight. I've also used the dark red to do the thorns on the bramble as well. Uh, and actually, if you're feeling very creative, there's no reason why you shouldn't add blackberries uh, and any other details that you want. Uh, this doesn't have to be exactly as the picture that's, that comes with the kit. Make it your own. So there are three leaves done. Hopefully you can see that that's the sort of detail that really begins to bring the picture to life.